So we've talked about Avogadro's number is just the number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. We said that one mole of an object is that many, which is a huge number of fundamental objects. If it, you're talking about atoms, then it's that many atoms. If you're talking about molecules, it's that many molecules. If you're talking about ions, it's that many ions. It, it, it's the same concept no matter what it is you're talking about, right? So now I wanna take just a second to talk to you about where this fundamental number called the mole actually comes from. And I'm gonna teach you the reason why it's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd objects. And the reason is because we have to have a standard. We talked about standards. And every measurement system has to have a standard. On this periodic table, we need to pick some element that's going to serve as our standard mass. And you want to pick one that, uh, that, that is very common. You want to pick one that we interact with all the time. And you want to pick one that's very stable, that doesn't decay radioactively or anything like that. And we're going to have that as our standard. Hydrogen, you know, it has pros and cons, and all these elements over here would, would be good choices, but chemists use the, the uh, element carbon for the standard. If you remember back, we talked about atomic mass units, and we, we said the same thing. Carbon served as the standard. So when it comes to Avogadro's number in the mole, same thing. Carbon serves as a standard. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.